Hi everyone, Dennis Fuller from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about all orders of resolution. We know that music is composed of fundamentals and harmonics, right? Think of a kick drum. When the drummer hits the pedal and the mallet strikes the kick drum, that produces the fundamental. Kick drum vibrates, sends that energy out into the room, and it, then it decays. And the decay is a variance from the original frequency, right? So that's the original, and the harmonic is that tail, that measure of decay. And that's where resolution is important. So we know our old friend reverberation is how long a sound stays around in the room after it's been sung, spoken, or played. We know that, okay? Well, the harmonic structure of music is pretty much the same thing. We're measuring the decay, or we're trying to resolve the decay so we can hear the decay properly because the decay has many, many parts. So harmonic order, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, there's lots of orders to the harmonic. If we take a fundamental frequency of 40, we have our first order at 80, 120, 160, and 200. You just keep adding 40, the fundamental, to produce the order of harmonic. So the room dimensions are critical. Treatment balance is critical. That's the goal here. We're trying to hear everything. Resolution is our mission. Resolution is our goal. May not be yours, but it is ours. So if you come to us, come to that realization that we're all about resolution and we're pushing boundaries as far as we can push them. And that may work for you, it may not. You may not wanna go that high, that's fine. There's different exit ramps, so to speak, on, on this freeway. So, but that's our goal. Because we know with the harmonics, that that's where the emotional connection to the music lies. That's what you got to get right. And there's a whole series of things you have to do to get that right. Can you feel and hear all the harmonics in your room? Or is something missing? I talk to hundreds of people each month, and they all say the same thing. Something's missing, but I don't know what. And that's usually the case, the harmonic. And then you look at the treatment in their room, and they have boxes filled with building insulation. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's never going to work because that doesn't have the right, the right rate and level of absorption for music and voice. Our foam technology does. That's a good example of that. And you can see here in the graphic the performance of it. See the linearity in the top red line curve? That's what you want. And that's what you want in that 125 to 500 cycle range. Because that's the guts. That's the heart of the problem. It's the heart and frequency range of reverberation. And it's the heart of the harmonic. Okay? So that's what you have to focus on. That's the big frequency range. Not all treatments are created equal. Most of the stuff in the marketplace is horrible. It's boxes filled with building insulation. And you don't want that. You want the proper rate and level for music and voice, because music and voice is different than noise. Most of those treatments out there are noise treatments, have nothing to do with the harmonic structure of music and voice. So that's where all the emotion lives. That's what you gotta get right in your room. So let's try to get all orders of resolution in our harmonics. That's the goal. We can do that with a balance of treatment, room size, and a host of other issues. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.